The same energy you have towards Jonathan Majors, you must have the same exact energy towards Ezra Miller. Let's talk about it then. Jonathan Majors and your boy Ezra Miller. We have to be very careful in how we sort of navigate this. And very careful about how we navigate this because from the surface is this seems very black and white. <laughs> you know, he's in the, the, the point, which is that. So Jonathan Majors, he's losing everything, getting cancelled, losing all of his roles. But as Ramela, it seems as if he's allowed to do everything, allowed to go on. So I'm going to say why it's different, but also just something very, very careful that should be happening moving forward. So let's just look at the difference here. Jonathan Majors has already filmed Loki season two and expects that that may come out. Although, let's see. He'd already filmed Ant-Man. So when the story broke of the alleged, again, alleged domestic abuse, Ant-Man had already come out. The difference with Ezra Miller is this is a 200 mil movie that is about to come out. So put it this way, if let's say John Antman was about to come out, or let's say Avengers 5 was about to, to come out and this news broke and then they cancelled the film, but not Ezra Miller's film, then we have a case of like, oh no, 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 then that's that's fully unfair. But it's different because Jonathan Majors, his film had already come out, which is Antman, Ezra Miller. The film is about to come out. And if you're Warner Brothers, and here's, and I think this is what people expect still to happen, which is when this film comes out, Ezra Miller will do no press. Most of the press will be done by Michael Keaton, Ben Affleck, and the Supergirl. And as this film is done, they're done with Ezra Miller. So that's what people expect to happen because, <laughs> guys, with Jonathan Majors, it's all alleged. It's all alleged. There is footage of Ezra Miller choking a, a woman. He is literally grabbing a woman and he is fully choking a woman on video. It's a scene. <laughs> so we don't need to be like alleged. There is no alleged. He did that. He did that. She did that. See, everything else is alleged with the grooming of a girl and all, and all the mad stuff that he's done. But him choking a lady on camera, it's seen. I've seen the, the video. We've all seen the freaking video. So he's guilty. Now, here's where it gets tricky. Mental health. So what struck me, because there have not been reviews coming out from The Flash, but what struck me was everybody's talking about how amazing Ezra Miller is. He's so good. He's so amazing. He's incredible. And I'm like, so there is no mention in any of the reviews of, yeah, man, but, you know, it's a bit weird him being in there knowing all the kind of stuff that he's done and the stuff that he's alleged to do and everything. It seems a bit odd and weird, but, you know... It was weird watching the film, seeing Ezra Miller there. It's completely ignored. And there's not a single mention of all of the transgressions that he's done. What is so crazy is that shill, known as Stephen Weintraub from Collider, he said he's made some mistakes, but... Made some mistakes, but... <laughs> no, no, no. You, no, you don't get to do that. You can't just... You can't have an review. Yeah, this guy has... Choked a girl on film, groomed underage girls, had a a baby sleeping next to a bullet. He's, those are mistakes, but he's really good in Flash, though. He's done some messed up stuff, but he's really good in the Flash, though. No, 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 no. That's not. That's crazy. Hence why I'm shocked he still has our Twitter. He may still put him. He may put it down, but the replies to the Twitter are like that's one of the craziest lines of 2023. He's made some mistakes. <laughs> Look. No, he's committed to crimes. <laughs> um, and you can now see people are now seeking a mental health, mental health. So all my thing is, though, does Jonathan Majors also get this mental health cop out? Because it's always a, a cop out. And it's the best cop out right now in 2023, which is mental health. I'm seeking my mental health. So does Jonathan Majors also get the benefits of that mental health cop out in the same way that Ezra Miller is getting? That's what I need to know. And I'm going to be watching, like, how is this going to be? Because Jonathan Majors, if this stuff is true, which it seems as if it's true, his career is done. It's finished. So my thing, though, is I expect Jonathan Majors' career as a headliner to be done. I expect Ezra Miller's career as a headliner to be done. Because the 
stuff they've been accused of is pretty similar. Some of the stuff I've heard from Ezra Miller is probably even wilder. Because, again, is this, this, this all, Jonathan Majors are allegations, Ezra Miller are allegations. Ezra Miller's allegations seem much more serious because we now have kids involved. See, with Jonathan Majors, it's woman or woman. With Ezra Miller, it's woman and underage girls and it's babies involved. <laughs> so those are the allegations of head. Again, these are all allegations, but these are the allegations of head of Ezra Miller. So Ezra Miller's allegations are a lot worse. <laughs> when you bring in kids, it's always worse. So I'm going to be keeping tabs as to how they're going to handle this. How are you going to handle this? Because keep it real, they have to, I knew they had to release the flash. And my whole thing is the marketing because I do not want to see Ezra Miller give one single interview. I don't want to see him give any kind of interview or so forth because my assumption is the people doing all of the promo and press will be the um, Musieti, the, the guy directing, the girl who's playing Supergirl, maybe Ben Affleck. But at least what people expect, Michael Keaton will pretty much be front face and center because the real pull of this film, no, 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 no one cares about the Batman's Flash story. The pull of this film is freaking Michael Keaton is back as Batman. The best Batman, the most popular Batman. That is the reason... That's why I don't want to watch the freaking Flash. I don't want to watch that film. I've seen both trailers. It doesn't look good. It looks stupid. It's it looks like a CGI merchant's film. It looks like cotton candy. Film looks freaking stupid. But it's Michael Keaton's Batman. Even if his Batman is out in the daylight and it looks weird and odd, it's Michael Keaton's Batman. And I'm going to watch Michael Keaton's Batman. So, 100%. But I just want us to be clear here. Let us be fully clear here. I want Ezra Miller and Jonathan Majors to be treated the same. Because, because what we don't want is Jonathan Majors' career is destroyed and finished. Ezra Miller somehow continues to be the Flash and be in the A-list films. And Ezra Miller gets the benefits of the doubt of my mental health. And Jonathan Majors is like, wait, wait, I also want to go into mental health. No, no. So, please. That's because it will look really bad. Like, it will look really obvious if one dude is allowed the mental health cop out. And another dude is not allowed the mental health cop out. So, um, let's see how that rolls, man. Let's let's see how that rolls because I'm I'm sorry. You see, the incense exists, and which is why I I see we can hate the incense for how crazy it is. But we can also love the incense because the incense is unhinged. Pre incense, you could easily bury this. WB could easily bury this, but with the internet, Twitter, Instagram, TikTok, YouTube, this story ain't gonna go away. So. When you just type in Ezra Miller on Twitter or on TikTok, guys are like, you know what this guy's done. <laughs> you can't just ignore this. This stuff ain't going to go, go away. And especially with how Jonathan Majors is now being completely exited, we accept the same. It's This is a perfect scenario of keep the same energy. The same energy you have towards Jonathan Majors, you must have the same exact energy towards Ezra Miller. Exact same energy. And also... I'm going to triple down. I ain't calling him they. I know Graham. I'm not calling him they or them. Him. He looks like a guy. He is a guy. He treats that guy the same as Jonathan freaking Majors.